Hi, I'm Jim Delgado. I'm an archaeologist and an undersea explorer. I've been doing archaeology for 46 years, and for as long as I've been doing that, I've been sharing stories about it, whether it started at the dinner table with my family to sharing them with a larger audience. While I've done that both on television and film, my favorite is to come and talk to a live audience and interact with people. I particularly was struck being at Old School Square by the fact that, one, it's in the heart of a community that clearly cares, not only about its past, but about engaging in the arts and the humanities, and in having scientists like me come to visit and talk. What I also like is the fact that you have an audience that's engaged, that asks great questions, and in that audience today was a local hero who's actually an American hero, and that's aquanaut and explorer Don Casimir, who was the commander of a mid-ocean mission in 1969 that drifted in a submersible along the entire Gulf Stream. It's a mission that remains epic and a key part of America's embrace of deep ocean technology and exploration that somehow got lost thanks to the fact that it took place while Apollo 11 was landing on the moon. He was in the audience today and we spent some wonderful time afterwards catching up and sharing stories. I often get asked what's the scariest encounter I've had beneath the sea. And that's included being inside a ship as a diver and having things start to collapse behind me, uh, sealing me inside the ship with a colleague. But clearly we managed to get away. It's included uh, being swarmed by sharks. It's included being stuck under the stern of Titanic when the sub came a little too close and got wedged in at the stern. But for me, the scariest thing of all when I go to sea is coming back and encountering people that just don't care about the oceans. And in that, I think it's unfortunate. Now, we all have different interests and find different aspects of the world captivating. But for me, the oceans are important and should be important to all of us because they just don't cover so much of the planet. They are responsible for life on the planet. Every drop of water in the oceans has been here since the Earth was created. We're not making any new water. Water we pollute or change will remain polluted for a very long time. The oceans are the source of over half our food. They're the engine that drives our weather. And they're the highway by which we've traded and expanded around the globe. And to this day, 90% of the world's goods moved by water. So it's a pretty important subject. And so pardon me if I'm passionate on it, but I do come back to that thought that what scares me most is when people don't care about the oceans. And I think don't care about the oceans comes perhaps because we don't understand the oceans. And so that's why I'm here. That's why I do what I do, not only to go out there and to that final frontier on the planet, but also to share it and make it accessible and understandable to everyone. There's a wide range of resources available on the internet. If you look, say, at Dr. Robert Ballard's Ocean Exploration Trust, what you're going to find there on their website, as well as NOAA's Ocean Explorer website, are missions that are being done live. That is, with robots tied with cable back to the ship and then via satellite to the rest of the world, you can follow these missions on your smartphone, on your tablet, on your, your laptop, or even on your internet-enabled television and be there and part of the core of exploration. And in that, I think that's perhaps the most exciting thing of all, is when we're out there, when we're doing these missions, you're there with us. And it's not just an over-the-shoulder. You're able to ask questions. You're able to participate. We actually have people who say, I know exactly what you're looking at. I've studied this or I know about this. And this includes people that have done this because it's their passion not because they went to school for it. And as things happen, you're there live. And so in one case, we were working on a shipwreck and as we moved through the darkness and came up on it, it wasn't just that team of us in the control room as that robot was moving forward. It was over a million people watching from around the world. So join us, become part of that great core of exploration and boldly go where few have gone before, in this case, down. Thank you.